Hey everyone, so today we're gonna to use the chain rule uh, for multivariable calculus to find a partial derivative. So we're gonna work out del w del t, okay? So let me explain what's going on first. Um, so w here is a function of x and y, right? But you'll notice that y and x are functions of s and t respectively, right? So these are functions of other variables, and then, so what happens is w ends up being a function of actually s and t. So del w del t actually makes sense, right? Because you see w, here you see you have y's and x's, but x is a function of s and y is a function of t. So w is actually a function of s and t. So this actually makes sense, the partial with respect to t. Okay, so I'm gonna write the formula out and try to ignore this while we think about the formula. So del w del t, well, just looking at this, it would be del w del x, right? The partial with respect to x times the derivative of the inside, so that would be del x del t plus, same thing here, right, it would be del w del y times the derivative of the inside, so del y del t, okay. And now we're just going to uh, straight up apply uh, the derivative rules, right? So again, when you're taking the partial with respect to t, you take the partial with respect to x, and then you multiply by the derivative of the inside with respect to t. Then you take the partial with respect to y, and then you multiply by the derivative of the inside with respect to, to t. All right, so del w del x, that's going to be, well, that's zero, right? We're, we're fixing y's. So we're going to get negative 6x, negative 6x, y. And then del x del t, well, that's just going to be zero because there's no t here. Plus del w del y, we're going to get 3y squared. And then, uh, oh, 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 3y squared, right? That's that derivative. Uh, here, we're taking this derivative, too, with respect to y. The derivative of y is 1, so we get minus 3x squared. And then times, then del y del t is just e to the t. The derivative of e to the t is e to the t, okay? That's going to be 0. Now, y is equal to e to the t. So you get 3 times e to the t squared minus 3. And then x is e to the s. So we get e to the s squared, and here we get e to the t. Okay. Let's clean it up. So again, y was uh, e to the t, x was e to the s, right? We squared both, and then we have e to the t. Let's distribute, we'll clean it up first. It'd be 3 e to the 2t minus 3 e to the 2s, and times e to the t. And you can distribute or leave it. I'm just going to, I'll leave it. That's good enough. I hope that made sense. 